hello there, Limit here, and today we are talking about binocular-based hit stun, how to do it, and how to avoid it, and how you may not even have to. It's <laughs> it's quite a weird story. So, what is binocular-based hit stun or this free hit combo? I need <laughs> I need a professional term for this. I really can't think of one. Anywho, so basically, if you do not know how to do it, you simply slash binocular cancel then slash slash. As you can see in these clips, it's not too hard to do, timing's a bit strict, and it is strong. I mean, you're getting 50% more damage very easily. So, moving on to the bonus information. Now, to really get into this, I have to tell you a very emotional story. So when I finished the last video, I thought, just before I release this, I'm going to go back, give it a retest, just confirm it works, maybe show some other weapons that it works with. So I called up a bird, I was like, hey, 20 minutes, let's just test this out. Thank you very much. And we did the data, and lo and behold, I could not replicate it. I seriously could not get this to work again. Now naturally, this left me pretty befuddled. But I think I understand what happened. And also to clarify, I also tested this in both versions of the game, but I think it only worked once, and that may have just been user error, and he might have failed to press the roll button in time. So, what the hell is actually going on? And I think this happens for one of several reasons. Oh, <laughs> pretty dumb when you come to think of it. Number one, not all hits done is created equal. For example, if you punish a someone leaving a roll or someone during an attack animation, perhaps the hits done lasts slightly longer, and therefore you're able to pull off all three hits. We just don't know. But I do not think that's the case, considering looking back at some of the clips people are just kind of walking and you're able to do all three hits. So I don't quite understand what is happening there. Maybe it's a lack of stamina? Who knows? Now, what I actually think is happening, and bear with me, this is quite dumb, is that people, they just do not, they're just not rolling away. You might go, well, why on earth would you not roll away? It could be that the, the window to roll out is very short. But what I think it is, is that people are just conditioned to not roll away. People are so used to getting stuck in a two hit stun lock, they're not prepared to mash the roll button after the first time they hit. I tend to not mash it too much, because otherwise you might buffer the command and you might accidentally double roll, or you, maybe in the end you do not want to roll. So potentially, in the very end, it's a psychological reason <laughs> to why this works more often than it rightly should. I do think in some scenarios, it actually does work as intended, so you're stuck in the free hit combo and it's impossible to roll out of. I think it's just that simple. It only works because people don't know they're able to roll out of it. On my test subjects, I told them very clearly, after the first time you've been struck, try to roll away as soon as you can. I did not tell them if I was trying to perform a, you know, a control group normal 2 slash, or I was trying to do the binocular cancel free hit. So it, it may just be that. The knowledge that this thing exists is its own counter. So, there you go. Dark Souls 2 confirmed for not only deepest lore, but deepest mechanics. So, <laughs> fuck this technique, <laughs> feel free to abuse it. As long as it works in games, which it does, you can try it yourself. I'd really recommend giving it a go yourself. And yeah, there we go. Anyway, that's enough rambling out of me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this kind of data talk. And until we meet again, good luck and good game.